Representative Zerwas, thank you for joining us. Thank you for having me. Tell us a little bit about yourself, your district, and your professional career. Yeah, so I'm in my second term now uh, in the Minnesota House. I represent Big Lake, Big Lake Township, uh, Elk River, and a little bit of Otsego. We're right on the border uh, between metro and rural. Um, I do commercial real estate, um, so I help people locate, um, buy, and sell uh, commercial uh, property or uh, vacant land to build businesses on. Grew up in Elk River and love representing the area. What are your legislative priorities? So this year, um, going into the session, there's a few things we need to finish. Uh, we need to pass a transportation bill uh, that puts uh, Minnesota drivers first. Um, we need to pa uh, pass a tax bill um, to help more Minnesotans keep more of their hard-earned money in their uh, pocket. And we need to look at um, a construction bill or a bonding bill that um, hopefully prioritizes long-term uh, infrastructure uh, over some short time, you know, want to have type projects. What would you say is the most difficult aspect of being a legislator? Being smart enough to know that there's a lot of backstory on all of the issues that come before us and, and asking a lot of questions um, and then listening to the answers and, and really focusing on um, you know, what the people that are coming to testify, you know, their perspectives and how uh, potential changes uh, could impact their lives and, and trying to help people out. But it's, it's a long, it, it has long days when we're in session with important work, but it's very rewarding. What do you think is the greatest challenge facing Minnesota? So as a state, we need to, to look at really what the role of, of government is um, in the everyday lives of Minnesotans. Um, and and in, in my view, um, I think we need to find a balance uh, of government that understands that it has a role to support um, and provide some basic necessities, um, but really not much more than that. And so striking that balance, um, because obviously I've, I'm one opinion and there's 201 legislators down here. So, so striking that balance um, and reaching an agreement that at the end of the day, people feel like um, everyone comes away uh, knowing that they, they have something that they can take back to their constituents. Who inspires you and what do you find inspirational about him or her? I think my dad. Um, whenever I th I'm in kind of a, a quandary, I think of uh, how my father would, would handle uh, that situation. He's retired uh, now. Both my mom and dad are retired and uh, live up north. But um, my dad was the police chief in Elk River uh, for 23 years uh, before, before he retired. So I grew up uh, as a little tyke going to city council meetings with my dad in the evenings. And I remember thinking um, when I was little, when the city council members were the only ones I knew that could talk back to my dad. And so I thought, oh, I want to do that someday. But I think more than that, obviously, is my dad is probably uh, the most honest, uh, most hardworking, and, and has the most integrity of any person I know. And so any day I can uh, try to act more like and be more like my father is a good day. Representative Zerwas, thank you for your time. Thanks so much. I appreciate it.